And as we have already observed, many want to know what Mike Rann will do on Monday. Few do know, including, as it turns out, state ALP president and federal member for Hindmarsh, Steve Georgianis. I spoke to Mr Georgianis earlier today. Steve Georgianis, welcome to 7.30 South Australia. Pleasure to be here. Do you know what Mike Rann's going to do on Monday? Uh, look, uh, Mike uh, will be making a statement, I believe, on Monday, uh, and it'll be entirely up to Mike what's in that statement. Do you know what he's going to do? No, I don't know what uh, he'll be saying or what he'll be doing. Uh, Is that a satisfactory position for the government and indeed the Labor Party of South Australia to there, be in? There will be a statement on Monday. What we do know, though, is that uh, Mike Rand has agreed uh, to uh, transi transitioning uh, the leadership over to Jay Weatherall. And we also know that the uh, party is completely behind Jay Witherall, including the parliamentary wing of the Australian Labor Party here in South Australia. Can you explain how it's come to this? You have a party which you have said is quite united in the outcome that it wants, but it just can't seem to be able to get there, and it's been dictated to by a leader it no longer wants. Look, I think um, we... Is that a fair summary? <laughs> Whether it's a fair summary or not, what we need to wait for is for Monday when Mike Rann is here. If he forces a spill, in your view, does he damage or compromise his legacy and standing in the Labor Party? Look, I think um, Mike Rand's been a great leader. He's been one of the best uh, premiers we've had in this state. We've seen unemployment uh, drop to uh, very low levels. We've seen mining contracts, defence contracts. I think uh, Mike Rand will make a decision on Monday uh, based on the best interests of South Australia uh, and the best interests of the state Labor Party, as he has done for many, many years as leader. Why is it a decision for Mike Rand? Well, Mike, Mike will have to come out with the announcement and we'll have to wait till Monday to see what he does announce. Um, and then uh, the next step will yeah. be for... But, but why is it a decision for him? Well, uh, why does is, this man yeah. have all this power, all this uh, latitude, all this leeway? Why has he been given this? As I said, he's been leader for 17 years. Uh, he's been one of the best premiers this state has seen. Uh, he has uh, uh, contributed enormously to this state. And we all know that uh, Mike Rand's always made decisions on what's best for this state. Therefore, I know, and everybody else in the party will know, that the decision he makes on Monday, uh, what will be at the forefront of all his thoughts, will be what's in the best interest of South Australia. And the best interest is not a leadership spill, I take it? Um, you'd say that uh, no-one wants to see a leadership spill. A lot has been said this week about the need to treat Mike Rand with respect. What about the need to treat Jay Weatherall with uh, respect? Um, he has been waiting on a phone call back from the Premier as though he was a naughty boy, a naughty well, schoolboy. I am sure that they, those two will have a discussion when the Premier gets back. Does he need a lesson in leadership from Mike Grant? Does he need mentoring? Jay uh, has all the leadership qualities that anyone can ask for in a leader. He is uh, very consultative. Um, he likes to uh, consult with everyone involved in a particular issue. So he doesn't need lessons? Uh, I'd say certainly not. He's, uh, he's right up to it and... Uh, uh, he would make an extremely good Premier for this state. Can we come back to Paul Claric's story about uh, the involvement and the, and the power of the SDA in this? First of all, do you think it was publicly a mistake for Peter Malinowskis to be involved? Look, I think, um, I think when these decisions are made, they're ultimately made by the members of the state parliament. I'm, they I'm, are caucus, I'm, not, I'm not asking about that. And I'll get to that in a, in a moment. So... Uh, regardless of what uh, Peter Melanowskis or anyone else says, um, the ultimate decision is made by the caucus. Um, the picture that was portrayed on TV with Peter Melanowskis speaking to the Premier, I know that he speaks to the Premier regularly, as the Premier speaks to many unions uh, regularly. Um, Most of them don't tell him it's time to go, though. <laughs> was, that, was that a mistake for him to be seen involved in that? Now, he was always going to be involved behind the scenes, but publicly... In hindsight, uh, having seen uh, the uh, interviews, etc., uh, perhaps it wouldn't have been. Uh, it would have been a better idea uh, not to uh, have Peter at that particular meeting. But of course, the unions will have a say, and have always had a say within our political party. Do you think that the unions need to re-examine themselves how they do business? For example, as suggested by Ralph Clark, at least a box on union membership forms so that individuals can choose whether their fees are affiliated to the Labor Party or not. 
Well, you'd be aware of the review that's come out, and there's many discussions that are taking place at the moment, uh, and we've got our national conference coming up. Could I, um, I'm asking you yep. your personal view. Mm -hmm. My personal view is that uh, the structure of the party was formed many years ago. I think we have to keep up with the times and ensure that uh, constantly uh, we're discussing these issues uh, and, and things are changing on a constant basis to keep up with the times. Does that mean yes? <laughs> in, a, in a way, if you'd like... Uh, if. Uh, to be blunt, yes, I think it, it, it would be a good idea to uh, uh, look at some of the ways that, uh, in how we operate and uh, uh, the base of our political party. Steve Georgianis, thanks very much for joining us on 7.30 South Australia. Pleasure.